that many would come to know Jesus Christ. Yes. And many of these college students will be strengthened in their faith that as they go into the world, they will preach the gospel to every Christian. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great, great, great is our God.
earbuds in your ear and you cannot hear him and the Lord is saying I want to speak to you and the Lord is saying that he has words of wisdom there's many people here in a major decisions and you need the wisdom of God in your crying out in your heart for the wisdom of God and God is saying I have wisdom for you so if this is you I want you to symbolically Take the earplugs out and say, God, I want to hear you. The Lord is saying, don't look to the right, don't look to the left, but look to me for wisdom, and you will receive it from the Lord. The gift of wisdom is for you, it's for this church, it's for this community. If you need it, 
You got it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Manifestations of the Spirit are to encourage the body. Any other word of encouragement before we move on? The Spirit of the Lord is in this house. Don't let him pass you by. He's here, he's walking up and down these aisles. And he's reaching out, he's got his arms reached out. And he's touching each and every one of you. And some of you can, can actually feel his touch. Others of you are saying, I want to feel, I want to feel. It's just like the earbuds. He's touching you. He is touching you. Don't let him pass you by. Just as the woman who was in the crowd, she pressed through the crowd to touch the hem of his garment. She would not let him pass her by. She could not let him pass her by. She had to force her way through the crowd to touch the hem of his garment. And she was healed. There's healing in the house today. Morning, praise the Lord. You know, I've been a bit distressed over the last couple of weeks watching the news. And uh, I look around this room and, and I see what what God's saying. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah, yeah. all these beautiful Korea, Mexico, wherever we've got a Hispanic pastor, a white pastor, we've got a black pastor. We've had God's plan here. But you're going to be hearing uh, a message by our pastor this morning, and one of the words, I can't pronounce this uh, Latin word, sendesmos, about unity, and unity in the body of Christ. I believe that this is what God's plan is. And I'm supposed to watch on television. And I just like to, to pray and agree that uh, the enemy who comes to do what? To steal and kill and destroy and divide and try to take away what God's actual beautiful expression of his images on this earth. And that the body of Christ will arise and that we will prevail if God is for us who can be against us. Amen. of the body of Christ, if God is for us, who can be against us and always cause us to triumph? Lord, we ask that you beat down the enemy and how he's manifesting himself in this country that you've chosen as a beacon of light, of, of unity, as opportunity, as the equality. Lord, we ask that the body of Christ arise and manifest itself not only in the United States, but in the world. So Lord, we reject, we reject what the enemy brings, and we lift up the name of Jesus, and we will be victorious in Jesus' name.
turn around. We're waiting on the Lord now. Did the Lord tell you to turn around? I don't know. I don't want to get away. <laughs> Uh, you know, we just heard from a veteran of Alders Gate, and I just wanted to say a couple of things that while we were worshiping, uh, there's been something that's been interesting that I've been sensing in our worship for the past month or so. And we would reach a point where the Holy Spirit would open things up. Where things would be opened up and there would be that opportunity to push through. And I just want you to know that right now, what I saw was a wide open hallway, a massive hallway, and there's the Lord. But he's not coming for us. He wants us to go to him. He wants us to push through, push in to the deeper place of the spirit. You know, this, this house of Alders Gate, I don't know if you're familiar with the words, the promises. This place has a destiny on it. This place has a destiny on it. And like what Haywood was saying, with the diversity in God's plan, there, there's a reason we're like this. There's a reason we're designed as a house this way. It's because we have a, we're part of his plan. And our purpose is bigger than just a Sunday church where yeah. if you just spend 15 minutes talking with people, you'll you'll get to see that. So can we just press in for a couple of seconds? Just just go a little bit deeper with me. Let's just see what happens. Even if you, you don't know what's waiting on the other side of that barrier, if you're just curious, would you go with me? Just press down a little bit deeper. Lord, speak to us. Speak to us. Pour out your spirit.
Sometimes it just takes a word. So if you have a word for God, if you have something that you want to say to him, I would just say it to him right now. Because I think that's going to bring you closer. If you have something you want to tell him, just tell him right now. No matter what it is. Is something going to be released to you when you say it? It can be in your heart or it can be out loud. Does it matter? He hears you. Some of you need to make exchanges. There's something you need to trade. Depression doesn't belong to you, but torment doesn't belong to you. Legally doesn't belong to you. It's been bought. Feel his kindness rest on you right now. Just receive his goodness. Thank you, Jesus. first week of September. And so um, I wanted to go ahead and recognize our um, youth uh, children's ministry summer semester teachers who've been working with our kids for the last four months. So if I call your name, please come on here. I know you're going to hate me. I know I love you. <laughs> Miss Pam. Miss <laughs> Pam. Miss Fran. Miss Connie. Miss Julia. Ms. Ann, Ms. Becky, Ms. Martha, and Ms. Lisa. <laughs> Teachers, I want you to know. Do we have everybody? Oh, mother, come on. Get back with us all. No, my mother's not a bear. <laughs> We love you. Teachers, I just want you to know that you are highly valued and cherished in our state, and you, we really appreciate you. You are the true next generation ministers, and just know that we love you and we pray for your ministry each week. So thank you so much. And okay, and the volunteers, please, teachers, please receive our little token of appreciation. So yeah. Oh, okay. 
never mind. And we also wanted to recognize our DC4K teacher, Ms. Brian. She's been working the last 13 uh, weeks with our DC4K students. So thank you, Ms. Brian. And here is our little token of appreciation. It's really nothing. It's just a token of appreciation for your dedication and hard work, our kids. So we appreciate you so much. And um, Church, I wanted to go ahead and introduce our fall semester teachers. So um, I know Miss Ann. Miss Ann thinks that she's going to be out of children's ministry, but that's her mistake. <laughs> well, she will be great for her. Okay, but she will be serving as uh, she won't be serving as uh, a teacher, but she'll still be involved in prayer and support. So we appreciate you, Miss Ann. Yes. And, <laughs> and um, we all know that uh, this Wednesday we're kicking off our new youth ministry and uh, so at 6 30 we're going to meet at youth building thank you and um, we're going to have our programs for our youth and so uh, for our teachers we have Mr. Joseph Chaplin and Miss Debbie Chaplin so please come up here And we have Mr. Sam Barone and um, Ms. Suzanne Barone, but she, uh, they could not make it today, but they're with us. Um, and, yeah, and so we, I just wanted to go ahead and um, introduce them that they are going to be our youth mentors for our fall semester. And I wanted to um, invite Pastor Mario to pray for our Next Generation Ministry staff. And, Let's pray. Lord, of all the things you've called the church to be, you've called it to be a place where from generation to generation to generation to generation, we're to declare your marvelous works. We're to pass on the faith that you have bestowed upon us to our children, to our children's children, to their children, so that they might know the Lord, that they might be close to the Lord. So Father, I thank you for Next Generation Ministries because that is the very nature of your church. You've called us to live in community. You've called us to be the family of God. So Lord, I pray for these that have served and those that are going to serve and continue to serve. Lord, for all of us, may you uh, call us to serve these children and these youth and those around us that need to know Jesus and need to know how to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And when we do that, oh Lord, we do it for your glory and we ask all of this in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our Savior. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Um, so starting this week, we're adopting a new check-in system. So um, usually what we would do is we would have sign-up sheet for, but for today, um, and for today, if you would just walk with, when children are released, what we would walk with the children to check them out, that would be great. Um, and next week, when you, if you have child, just come to check-in station before you come to the sanctuary so we can check you in. If not, you can come with us when children are released. I hope that makes sense. If you're a parent, you know what that means. All right, go ahead, children, and head on to Children's Church. Uh, we're going to call on the ushers to wait on us for this morning's offering. And uh, we're just kind of following the lead of the Spirit this morning. The ushers are so good to kind of say, what? Now? Okay, here we go. You know, we were singing that song, It's Your Breath in Our Lungs, so I pour out my praise. Lord, you know, friends, we just all have to come to that place where we understand even the very breath that we have is a gift of the Lord. Amen. And certainly the jobs that we have, the money that we have, that we've been stewarded to take care of, all of that is from the Lord. And so this morning we give in response, we give in obedience, we give in faith, 
And we ask God to bless this offering that it might further his kingdom. Father, bless the gift and the giver, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen.